Shalom. Welcome back. Welcome back. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let's get back into the Word of God. Happy Sabbath to everybody. Let's go to uh, Galatians chapter 3, beginning at verse 1, all the way down to verse 29. Galatians chapter 3. You got your Bibles? All right, let's begin. Verse 1. O foolish Galatians, who hath bewitched you that ye should not obey the truth, before whose eyes Jesus Christ hath been evidently set forth, crucified among you? The Apostle Paul is ministering to the Galatians. The Apostle Paul is a disciple of Jesus Christ. He is a Hebrew Israelite of the seed of Abraham, of the tribe of Benjamin, of the southern kingdom of Judah and Benjamin. He will be uh, called a Jew because the southern kingdom of Judah and Benjamin are called Jews. Now, there is a northern kingdom, the ten tribes that are scattered. You don't hear a lot about it. <laughs> Your 501c3 corporations, pastors, preachers, and teachers they don't tell you about the ten tribes of Israel that are scattered. And they don't even mention it because they're part of the Antichrist church system. So they don't want you to know about that. But Israel is 12 tribes. It was then and it still is. <laughs> but uh, Solomon sinned against the Lord and this, the kingdom of Israel was divided into two separate kingdoms. The northern kingdom in the southern kingdom. The northern kingdom was ten tribes. And the northern kingdom sinned against the Lord. And the Lord said, I'm going to scatter you among the Gentiles. And that's what he did. So the northern kingdom was called Ephraim or Israel. But when they sinned against the Lord, they were no longer referred to as Israel. They were no longer referred to as Ephraim. They were only referred to as Gentiles or uncircumcised or heathens or whatever location that they were living in. In this case, Galatians. Now, the original Gentiles are mentioned in Genesis chapter 10 in the King James Version of the Bible, of the Scriptures. Uh, in Genesis chapter 10, Noah had three sons, Japheth, Shem, and Ham. And Japheth is the only one listed as having Gentiles. Shem is not listed as having Gentiles, nor is Ham listed as having Gentiles. So when the scripture talks about the Gentiles, it's talking about the Japheth Gentiles. But you got to understand that Israel, the ten tribes, are some, sometimes referred to as Gentiles, but they are not Gentiles. They are Israelites. So you have to learn to make that distinction. And the only way you're going to learn that is through studying the scriptures. Now, Jesus said that uh, you will fall by the edge of the sword and be led away captive into all nations. He was speaking to the southern kingdom of Judah and Benjamin. The northern kingdom of Israel was already scattered. And so he was speaking to the southern kingdom of Judah and Benjamin called Jews and said you will be led away captive into all nations. And Jerusalem will be trodden down of the Gentiles. Now, Jerusalem is still trodden down of the Gentiles. Well, who Gentiles? The Japheth Gentiles. Who are the Japheth Gentiles? Well, they are the Romans. During the ministry of Jesus, Israel was under occupation by Rome. And Rome was the ruling nation. And Rome is still the ruling nation. Rome... It's the Japheth Gentiles. All the European nations, including America and Russia, they are the Japheth Gentiles. <laughs> They're the ruling class. Jesus said, Jerusalem will be trotting down of the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. So these are the times of the Gentiles, and it has not yet been fulfilled because it's not going to be fulfilled until the Lord Jesus Christ comes back. So the Gentiles are the ruling class. They was ruling during the ministry of Jesus as the ruling class, the Japheth Gentiles, the Romans, and they're still ruling today. They just go by different names. And so 
if Jerusalem is trodden down of the Gentiles, then the people over in the land called the nation of Israel is not the biblical Israelites. The biblical Israelites are scattered. The northern kingdom is scattered and the southern kingdom is scattered. So the people over in the land today called the nation of Israel, <laughs> they say they Jews. They are not Jews according to scripture. They're of the synagogue of Satan. They're Ashkenaz, Khazarians, Japheth, Gentiles, and Edomites. <laughs> They've taken over the land by fraud. But people, since 1948, all the world think that's Israel. That's not the people of God. That's not the chosen people of the Lord. Those are fake. They're phonies. God's people are scattered to the four winds. That's why Jesus said, I'm coming back and I'm going to gather you. And bring you back into your own homeland. That's why you got to go back, restudy, research the scriptures. Because what you've been told is a complete lie. <laughs> so Paul is ministering to the Galatians who are Hebrew Israelites of the seed of Abraham of the northern kingdom of the ten tribes of Israel that are scattered among the Gentiles. In this case, they are in Galatia and they're referred to as Galatians. That's where they live. But he is speaking to Hebrew Israelites of the seed of Abraham. I know you haven't been told that. Because <laughs> your 501c3 corporations, antichrist church system, pastor, preachers, and teachers, they don't teach you who Israel is. <laughs> they want you to be deceived. Jesus said, many will come in my name and deceive many. The, the fake, uh, the, uh, the Gentiles, the Japhet Gentiles, the Romans, they brought in Christianity and Catholic, Catholicism. And so they telling you that Jesus is coming back for everybody. Jesus did not come to start a religion. Jesus did not come to create Christianity. He didn't come to start Christianity. He's coming back for his people who are Israel, all the tribes of Israel. That's who he came for. That's who he died for. That's who he rose again on the third day for. And that's who he's coming back for. It's Israel. He's not coming back for everybody else in the whole wide world. You've been deceived. Jesus said, many will come in my name and deceive many. Christianity is a form of the name of Christ. And it's deceiving many. Jesus is not coming back for Christians. He's coming back for his people who are Israelites of the seed of Abraham. <laughs> So Paul is preaching to Israelites from Genesis to Revelation. The scriptures are about Israel. People don't like to hear that. You've been deceived. They done told you that, oh, God, he, he got rid of his people. They sinned, so he's he not dealing with them no more. He's just dealing with Christians. That's a flat-out lie. God is still dealing with his people. He's never stopped. He made a covenant with Abraham. That covenant still stands with his seed to all generations. So Paul is preaching to Hebrew Israelites of the seed of Abraham that are in Galatia, who are Galatians. He said, O foolish Galatians, who hath bewitched you that you should not obey the truth before whose eyes Jesus Christ has been evidently set forth, crucified among you? So he's asking them a question. Who hath bewitched you? Jesus has been set before you but something happened <laughs> that you should not obey the truth. You stop obeying the truth. Jesus is the truth of Israel. He's the, the Messiah, the Son of God. But who hath bewitched you that you should not obey the truth? Verse 2, this only would I learn of you. Receive ye the Spirit by the works of the law or by the hearing of faith. So he's talking to Hebrew Israelites of the seed of Abraham. The law was only given to Israel. The law was not given to everybody else in the whole wide world. That's why your 501c3 corporations, anti-Christ church system, pastors, preachers, and teachers, they take the scriptures out of context and try to apply it to everybody. But it does not apply to everybody. It only applies to Israel because the law was given to Israel. 
Verse 2 again, this only would I learn of you. Receive ye the Spirit by the works of the law. He, he's asking a question. How did you receive the Spirit of, uh, of God? Did you receive it by the works of the law? Or, by, or did you he, receive it by the hearing of faith? Because what's happening, Paul is ministering. He's a Hebrew Israelite of the seed of Abraham of the tribe of Benjamin. He's called, he referred to as a Jew. The southern kingdom of Judah and Benjamin are Jews. There's other people who are Jews of the southern kingdom of Judah and Benjamin want to hold on to the law and tell the new converts of the ten tribes of the northern kingdom of Israel that scattered abroad when they come into the faith, oh, you still got to get circumcised. <laughs> It's not enough just to believe you got to be circumcised. So Paul is having to go against other fake brothers. <laughs> like now, you got the 501c3 corporation, Antichrist church system. It's still in place, deceiving the people. So Paul is having to go through, undo what they've done. He go through and minister the truth, and then these people come behind and tell them to lie. <laughs> And so now he got to go back and clean up what he started because they messed it up. He said, this only what I learned of you. Receive ye the spirit by the works of the law or by hearing of faith. How did you receive the spirit? Was it by the works of the law or was it by, the, by hearing of faith? Verse 3, are ye so foolish, having begun in the spirit, are ye now made perfect by the flesh? He's asking them a question. Are you foolish? Are you so foolish? You started in the spirit, believing, having faith. Are you now made perfect by the flesh? Now you got circumcised. Is now, are, you, are you now perfect? Wasn't you perfect already by having faith? But now you haven't got circumcised, so now you think you're perfect in the flesh? Are you now made perfect by the flesh? He's asking them a question because... The other people then came back and, and told them, y'all need to be circumcised. <laughs> in the same way it is today with the 501c3 corporation, they teach in this false doctrine that Jesus is coming back for everybody. Jesus is only coming back for Israel, his chosen people. God started with Israel. He's going to finish with Israel. Go read Revelation. It's 12 gates for the 12 tribes of Israel. <laughs> people are saying, oh, it's about the church. Israel is the church. Israel is the body of Christ. Verse 4. Have ye suffered so many things in vain? If it be yet in vain? <laughs> He's still asking them a question. He said, so you believe in the Lord in vain now? I mean, you think you got to go get circumcised and that's going to be enough for your salvation? Faith wasn't enough? <laughs> Verse 5, he, he therefore that ministered to you the Spirit and worketh mi mi miracles among you, doeth he by the works of the law or by the hearing of faith? <laughs> He's still asking them questions. He said, he that ministered unto you, did he minister the, the works of miracles among you by the law or, or by the hearing of faith? How was those faith miracles done? Was it by the works of the law? Or was it by the work of faith, a hearing of faith? <laughs> Verse 6, even as Abraham believed God and it was accounted to him for righteousness. So he's saying, Abraham, <laughs> who God made the covenant with, a Hebrew Israelite, that's who Abraham, he's a Hebrew Israelite. <laughs> God made a covenant with him. His name is Abraham. His name was Abram. God changed his name to Abraham. So that connects us with Ham at the end. <laughs> Just a side note. Even as Abraham believed God and it was accounted for him for righteousness. So believing God is accounted as righteousness. Abraham believed God it was accounted to him for righteousness. It wasn't by the works of the law. The law wasn't even given yet at that time. Verse 7, Know ye therefore that they which are of faith 
The same are the children of Abraham. <laughs> now this scripture has been taken out of context and you've been deceived by it. By what people have said to you. You just like these old foolish Galatians. <laughs> he's telling you who he's talking about, who he's talking to. He just talked about Abraham. Abraham is a Hebrew Israelite. He's talking about the law. Are you being uh, made set free? Are you being delivered by the works of the law? Are you being delivered by the works of faith? <laughs> Abraham, it was accounted to him for righteousness because he believed in God. So he's talking to Hebrew Israelites of the seed of Abraham. He's not talking to everybody else in the whole wide world. But like I say, you've been deceived and you want to take the scriptures out of context and try to apply this to everybody else in the whole wide world. Well, it does not apply to everybody else in the whole wide world. It only applies to Hebrew Israelites of the seed of Abraham. He said, Know ye therefore that they which are of faith. Who are they? Who, who are they talking about? They which are of faith. So I know you want to say, oh, that's everybody in the whole wide world. Well, you can say that, but that's a lie. It's not everybody else in the whole wide world. That's taking the scriptures out of context. Know ye therefore that they which are of faith. The day that he's talking about is Hebrew Israelites of the seed of Abraham, the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom. Jesus came first to the southern kingdom of Judah and Benjamin, his own. And the scripture says, and his own received him not. But it didn't say all of them. It just said his own received him not. Some of them believed. That's how he got disciples. If they didn't believe, he wouldn't have any disciples. So then it goes on to say, but as many as did receive him, who received him? His own. <laughs> but y'all take that scripture out of context too. And see, he came unto his own. They didn't receive him. But as many as he but he's still talking about his own. Some of them believe. <laughs> so as many of his own that be re believe received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God. And so he's talking about all the disciples, even Paul, who he chose to go minister to the Gentiles. Who, that's what they were referred to as. But they are Hebrew Israelites of the seed of Abraham, of the ten tribes of the northern kingdom that are scattered. That's who he's ministering to. And so he's telling them, Know ye therefore that they which are of faith. It's only talking to Hebrew Israelites of the seed of Abraham, the southern kingdom and the northern kingdom, but specifically in the northern kingdom right now because the Galatians are of the northern kingdom. The same are the children of Abraham. You can't be the children of Abraham without faith. If you don't have faith, then you're not the children of Abraham. But see, you want to take the scripture out of context and try to apply it to everybody else. They're still talking about the seed, <laughs> which is Hebrew Israelites. God made a covenant with Abraham and to his seed after him. The promised seed with Isaac. From Isaac to Jacob. Jacob's name was changed to Israel, to Israel, to David, to Jesus. It's still the same seed. It hasn't changed. <laughs> but people take the scriptures out of context, and that's what they do and try to apply to everybody else in the whole wide world. It does not apply to everybody else in the whole wide world. It only applies to the seed, the physical seed <laughs> that has to have faith. If you don't have faith, just because you're Israel, just because you're the seed of Abraham, if you do not have faith, you will not enter into the kingdom of heaven. Jesus said to the Hebrew Israelites of the seed of Abraham, the southern kingdom of Judah and Benjamin, he said, if you do not believe that I am he, you will die in your sin. You have to believe just because you are the seed of Abraham, just because you're a Hebrew Israelite, just because you're of the tribe of Judah or the northern kingdom of the ten tribes that are scattered, that doesn't give you a free ticket into the kingdom of heaven. 
You have to believe the word of God. You have to believe the scriptures. That's what he's saying. Know ye therefore that they which are of faith. Of faith of what? They believe the scriptures. They believe God. They believe that Jesus is the Messiah, the son of God. He's still talking to Israelites. He's not talking to everybody else. He's telling them you have to believe, you have to have faith. And then he says, the same are the children of Abraham. If they have faith, then believe. That's who he's talking to. That's what he's talking about. He's not talking about, he's not talking to everybody else in the whole wide world. But go ahead and take the scriptures out of context and try to apply it to everybody else. That's why Jesus is going to say, I never knew you. Depart from me, you worker of iniquity. Because <laughs> you're trying to take the scriptures out of a context and apply it to everybody. It, it just doesn't apply. Verse 8, and the scripture foreseeing <laughs> that God would justify the heathen through faith, preach before the gospel unto Abraham, and in thee all nations be blessed. Again, it's only talking about Hebrew Israelites of the seed of Abraham. It's not talking about everybody else in the whole wide world. It says, and the scripture, <laughs> talking about the scripture from Genesis to Revelation, the Old Testament and the New Testament, foreseeing that God would justify the heathen through faith. See, it's a heathen. Ain't that everybody else in the whole wide world? No, he's talking about the northern kingdom of Israel, the ten tribes that were scattered. The southern kingdom wasn't scattered at this time, so he's only talking to the, the, the northern kingdom of the ten tribes that are scattered. That's who Paul was sent to preach to. But everybody, the, your 501c3 corporation, the Antichrist church system, your pastors, preachers, and teachers telling you that, oh, Paul was sent to preach to everybody that's not Israel. That's not true. He was sent to preach to the northern kingdom of the ten tribes of Israel that scattered. <laughs> Go back and research the scriptures. So the heathens that they're referring to in the scriptures are, are Israelites of the northern kingdom of the ten tribes that are scattered abroad. In this case, they're in Galatia. But for the scripture foreseeing that God would justify the heathen through faith. You think God forgot about the other ten tribes that, that were scattered? He didn't forget about them. <laughs> Preach before the gospel unto Abraham, saying, In thee all, the, all nations be blessed. Now people say, see, it's all nations. Yeah, it's all nations because we are scattered <laughs> into all the nations. If we wasn't scattered into all the nations, all the nations wouldn't be blessed. I know it's probably hard for your, you to wrap that around your little mind and believe. But that's the scripture. Because we are scattered into all the earth, all the world, everywhere. That's why the nations are blessed. If we wasn't here, the nations wouldn't be blessed. God blessed them for our sake. We sinned against them. He said, I'm going to scatter y'all. You don't want to serve me? Okay, go serve your enemies. So they're ruling over us. But God blessed them because God said, anybody that bless you, Abraham, will be blessed. Anybody that curse you will be cursed. So all the nations are blessed because of Abraham. Because we're scattered in all the nations. We're, we're, we're the seed of Abraham. We are the children of God. We are the chosen people of God, Hebrew Israelites. <clears throat> we don't know who we are, a lot of us. I'm trying to tell you, wake you up, let you know who you are. <laughs> but a lot of y'all think that the people over in the land called the nation of Israel, that those are Israelites, that they are God's chosen people. They are not. They're falsifying the, their, their, the people God's chosen people, they're, they're, they're frauds. They're defrauding. God's chosen people are scattered to the four winds. We're in all the world, all the nations of the earth. We're scattered everywhere. That's how we ended up in the American. Jesus said, well, no, no, in the Old Testament said that you will be led, uh, you will go into Egypt again in ships. <clears throat> America is the land of bondage for us. It's, it's the land of our captivity. We came here in, in slave ships. 
Jesus said you'll be led away captive into all nations. We're still in the land of our captivity today. And we're going to be here until the Lord Jesus comes back to get us. The scriptures are talking to us and about us. But we can't see it. We want to believe that Jesus is white. Because <laughs> you see Jesus is white, man. On these pictures, of, on all these churches you go to and in the movies. We want to believe that all of Israel is white folks. You're deceived. Israel is a black people. It's a colored people of all nations. We're everywhere. Jesus is black. He's coming back for his people. Israel. He's not coming back for those fake phonies over in the nation called the land of Israel. Verse uh Verse 9, so then they which be of faith are blessed with faith for Abraham. But again, your 501c3 corporations, antichrist church system, they want to turn this scripture around to make it include everybody in the whole wide world. <clears throat> See, if you're of faith, you're blessed with Abraham. It's only talking to Israelites. It's not talking to everybody else in the whole wide world. You can try to apply it to everybody if you want to. And if you're not Israel, you can try to apply it to yourself if you want to. Just because you try to do that, it doesn't make it true. It's only to Israel. <laughs> so then they which be of faith, who are Israelites of the seed of Abraham, the northern kingdom of the ten tribes that are scattered, the southern kingdom of Judah and Benjamin, are blessed with faith for Abraham. It's still talking about Abraham's seed, Isaac. Isaac to Jacob. Jacob to the 12 tribes of Israel. And Judah is the chosen tribe. David was king. The Lord said Jesus is going to establish that throne forever. It's still for Israel. It's not for everybody else in the whole wide world. It ain't no spiritual Israel. It ain't no spiritual seed. Are we spiritual is No, you're not no spiritual Israelites. <laughs> you can believe that junk if you want to. <laughs> they told us we Gentiles. We are Hebrew Israelites. We sinned against the Lord. The northern kingdom sinned against the Lord and was scattered. And now in the southern kingdom, we sinned also and we scattered. But we are Hebrew Israelites of the seed of Abraham. <laughs> we act like Gentiles, but we're not Gentiles. <laughs> We have the seed of Abraham. It's not talking about the Japhet Gentiles. That's not God's chosen people. The Japhet Gentiles cannot become Israelites. They're Japhet Gentiles. They can't be spiritual Israel. Verse 10. For as many as are of the works of the law are under the curse. For it is written, curse is everyone that continueth not in all things which are written in the book of the law to do them. So that's what happened to us who are Hebrew Israelites. Everything that's written in the scripture as far as prophecy, even in accordance with the law, has to happen, has to come to pass. That's why we ended up in the situation that we're in today. The scriptures does not lie. Everything has to come to pass. Jesus, I mean, God said in the Old Testament, <laughs> I'm putting before you bless, blessings and curses. And curses, curses. Choose what you're going to do. If you obey my word, all this good stuff is going to happen. If you don't, if you don't obey my word, all this bad stuff is going to happen. <laughs> We didn't obey the word of God. All this bad stuff happened to us. That was because we disobeyed the word of God. Now that does not detract that if we believe the word of God, that we can't be saved and forgiven. That's why Jesus came to forgive us. The scripture says, verse 10 again, For as many as are of the works of the law, are under the curse for as many as are of the works of the law are under the curse for it is written curses everyone that continue continueth not in 
all things which are written in the book of the law to do them. We couldn't do it. We tried, but we failed miserably. So the curses came upon us because we couldn't obey the law. <clears throat> Verse 11, but that no man is justified by the law in the sight of God, it is evident for the just shall live by faith. <laughs> we cannot keep the law because of our flesh. We try, we fail. <laughs> the scripture said, but that no man is justified by the law in the sight of God, it is evidence for the just shall live by faith. Just live by faith. Again, this is referring to Hebrew Israelites of the seed of Abraham, of the northern kingdom of the ten tribes of Israel that are scattered among the Gentiles, and the southern kingdom of Judah and Benjamin referred to as Jews. That's who this scripture is talking to. That's who this scripture is talking about. It's not talking about, or it's not talking to everybody else in the whole wide world that are not Hebrew Israelites. But they've taken, and when I say they, I'm, I'm referring to the, the 501c3 corporations, the pastors, preachers, and teachers of the Antichrist church system. They've taken the scripture out of context and, and try to apply it to everybody. That's why you got Christianity and Catholic Catholicism. Jesus didn't come to start a religion. He didn't come to start Catholicism or Christianity or any of these religions. He come for his people. But you try to apply it to all these different people, it just doesn't work. It only applies to Israel. But that no man talking about Israel. But you want to think that's everybody else in the whole wide world. It's not everybody else in the whole wide world. But that no man who is a Hebrew Israelite of the seed of Abraham is justified by the law. The law was given to Israel. It was not given to everybody else in the whole wide world. So it does not apply to everybody else in the whole wide world. No man is justified by the law in the sight of God. No man of the Hebrew Israelite of the seed of Abraham. It is evident for the just shall live by faith. So anyone of Hebrew Israelite seed of Abraham descent that believe the scripture and accept Jesus as the Messiah, the son of God, that he died on the cross and was buried and raised on the third day, that's a faith. That's how we're justified, by faith, by believing the scriptures, by believing the word of God. Verse 12, and the law is not of faith, but the man that doeth them thing, doeth them shall live in them. So the law is not of faith, it's just of work. You don't have to have faith to do the law. But he said the man that doeth them shall live in them. It's by faith that we can obey the law. <laughs> So you can apply your faith to obey the law. We still have to obey it, but it's still by faith. Because without faith, it's impossible to, impossible to please God. So everything has to be done in faith. Again, speaking only to Hebrew Israelites of the seed of Abraham. Now I have to keep saying this because you've been deceived into thinking that all these scriptures apply to everybody in the whole wide world. That's taking the scriptures out of context if you believe that. It's not applying to everybody else in the whole wide world. It's only talking to Hebrew Israelites of the seed of Abraham. Verse 13, Christ hath redeemed us. Who is us? Hebrew Israelites of the seed of Abraham. The northern kingdom of Judah and Benjamin. And the, uh, excuse me, the northern kingdom of the ten tribes that are scattered among the Gentiles, and now the southern kingdom of Judah and Benjamin that are scattered. Christ has to redeem us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us, for it is written, Curse is everyone that hangeth on a tree. Who do they hang in trees? Black people. Jesus was a black man. <laughs> he was hung on a tree for Israel. <laughs> See, 
the, the, the Japhet Gentiles, they mock us. All the world mock us. They know who we are, but we don't know who we are. It's like we got amnesia. <laughs> We're the chosen people. And, and somebody else done took over our land in the kingdom, <laughs> and rule, living in the land, and everybody else saying, well, that, that's, that's, the, uh, that's, that's Israel. <laughs> so we been woke up, and I'm telling you that you're Israel. You're like, no, the people over in the land, they're Israel. That's what we've been told. You've been lied to. <laughs> we got amnesia. We are Israel. <laughs> That they're not Israel over in the land. Called the nation of Israel. They're 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 fake. They call themselves Jews. They're of the synagogue of Satan. They do lie. Jesus is not coming back for them. That's not Israel. <laughs> Israel is scattered to the four winds. Where we at? Verse 13 again, Christ has to redeem us from the curse of the law being made a curse for us, for it is written, curse is everyone that hang on a tree. So Jesus has redeemed Israel. That's who he's talking to. That's who he's talking about. He ain't redeemed everybody else. He redeemed Hebrew Israelites of the seed of Abraham. Jesus is a Hebrew Israelite of the seed of Abraham of the tribe of Judah. He's redeemed his people. His people are Hebrew Israelites. <laughs> that's what he is. So that's what his people are. You can't be no spirit to Israel. Israel is the church. Israel is the body of Christ. Verse 14. That the blessing of Abraham. Might come on the Gentiles. Through Jesus Christ. That we might have might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. Again, <laughs> your 501c3 corporations, anti-Christ church system, your pastors, preachers, and teachers, they've deceived you. See, that's Gentile. That's talking about everybody in the whole wide. No, it's not. It's talking about the northern kingdom of Israel, of the ten tribes, that were scattered among the Gentiles. They were no longer referred to as Israel. They were no longer referred to as Ephraim. They were only referred to as Gentiles. That's who he's talking to. That's who he's talking about. That the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ. <clears throat> You got to keep the scriptures in context. The only way you can get anybody, everybody else in the whole wide world is take this scripture out of context. That's the only way you can do it. You take it out of context, you can make it do anything you want to do. But if you keep it in context, it only applies to Hebrew Israelites of the seed of Abraham. And in this case, the northern kingdom of the ten tribes of Israel that was scattered among the Gentiles. That the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles, who are the ten tribes of the northern kingdom of Israel that are scattered among the Gentiles through Jesus Christ, that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. That's who Paul is ministering to. He's ministering to the northern kingdom of Israel, the ten tribes that are scattered among the Gentiles. He's not ministering to everybody else in the whole wide world. Verse 15, brethren, I speak after the manner of men, though it be but a man's covenant, yet if it be confirmed, no man disannul it or add it thereto. <laughs> He's talking about the covenant. The covenant was made with Abraham and it to his seed. He's not talking about everybody else. The covenant wasn't made with everybody else in the whole wide world. Brethren, I speak after the manner of men, though it be but a man's covenant, yet if it be confirmed, no man disannul it or add thereto. You can't take away from the covenant. You can't add to it. <laughs> you can't disannul it. You can't make it void. It still stands. And it's going to stand until Jesus comes back. It's for Israel. Verse 16, Now to Abraham... And his seed were the promises made. 
<laughs> you want me to read that again? Now to Abraham and his seed where the promise is made. It was made to Abraham and his seed. His physical seed. Not a spiritual seed. He said not and to seeds <laughs> as of many, but as of one, and to thy seed, which is Christ. <clears throat> it's still about Israel. It's not about everybody else in the whole wide world. That seed is Israel. Abraham, his son Isaac, not Ishmael, but, it, but Isaac. Isaac is the promised seed. And then from Isaac to Jacob. Isaac had two sons, Esau and Jacob. Esau is not counted, just Jacob. Jacob's name was changed to Israel. Esau's name was changed to Edom. <laughs> the scripture said God loved Jacob but hate Esau. <laughs> the, the, the promise, the seed, the promise goes to Jacob and to his seed, to the 12 tribes of Israel. It's not everybody else in the whole wide world. I don't care what your 501c3 corporations, anti-Christ church system, pastors, preachers, and teachers tell you. They lie to you. It's only Hebrew Israelites of the seed of Abraham. Now to Abraham and his seed where the promise is made. And had, he, had, he said not unto seeds as of many. It's not many seeds. It's just one seed. But as of one and to thy seed, which is Christ. That's Jesus Christ. He's coming back for Israel. <laughs> the kingdom of heaven is for Israel. It's not for everybody else in the whole wide world. <laughs> I know this may come as a shock and a surprise to a lot of you, but it's for Israel. <laughs> Verse 17, And this I say, that the covenant that was confirmed before of God in Christ the law, which was 430 years after, cannot disannul that it should make the promise of none effect. The promise still stands. He said the covenant that was confirmed before of God in Christ. It was confirmed. It's a covenant. It can't be broken. The law, which was 430 years after the covenant. <laughs> the, law, the, the covenant came before the law. Cannot disannul the covenant that it should make the promise of none effect. The law cannot disannul the covenant. The covenant is to Israel, to Abraham's seed. <clears throat> it ain't for everybody else in the whole wide world. It's not. I don't care how you cut it and slice it. And take the scriptures out of context. Verse 18. But if the inheritance be of the law... It is no more of promise, but God gave it to Abraham by promise. The inheritance is to Israel, to the sea, the land, to the people. <laughs> God promised us some land. Jesus said, I'm coming back to gather you, to bring you back to the land. Right now we're scattered. We're scattered all over the place and all over the earth. <laughs> but Jesus is coming back to gather us. That's why the kingdom of heaven is for Israel. But the inheritance, if the inheritance be of the law, it is not more of the promise. It, the, the inheritance is not of the law. Because if it was of the law, it would be of the promise. The, 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 the inheritance is of the covenant. The covenant is for the promise. But God gave it to Abraham by promise. God promised. He don't break his promise. He's not talking about no spiritual Israel. He's talking about a physical seed. But again, the physical seed have to believe. If you don't believe, you don't make it into the kingdom of heaven. <clears throat> but all y'all folks think Jesus came to start Christianity or religion or Catholic. Jesus didn't come to start that. He's coming back for Israel. <clears throat> Verse 19, wherefore then serve the wherefore then serve the law? <clears throat> It was added because of transgression to the seed should come to whom the promise was made and it was ordained by angels in the hand of a mediator. So the law was necessary to bring in Jesus because we couldn't keep the law, but the law showed the transgression. 
The Lord told us, y'all need to obey my word. It was added because of transgression. We didn't obey the word till the seed should come to whom the promise was made. Jesus is that promise, the seed. And it was ordained by angels in the hand of a mediator. He sent his angel and told Mary and Joseph, this is this 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 seed. This is the, the Messiah. <laughs> He's going to redeem his people Israel. Verse 20. Now a mediator is not a mediator of one, but God is one. <laughs> so it's the mediator of God. Verse 21. Is the law then against the promise of God? God forbid. For if there had been a law given which could have given life, verily righteous, righteousness should have been by the law. <clears throat> so the, the law didn't come to bring righteousness. It just comes to teach us about God, to teach us who God is. <clears throat> God has order. <laughs> you can't just do what you want to do. <clears throat> but... The, salvation didn't come through the law. For if there had been a law given that would give life, <laughs> verily righteousness should have been by the law. But the law couldn't give us eternal life. <laughs> Verse 22, But the scripture hath concluded all under sin that the promise of faith of Jesus Christ might be given to them that believe. Okay, again, your 501c3 pastors, preachers, and teachers of the Antichrist church system have taken the scriptures out of context and told you that everybody is concluded under sin. The only people that are concluded under sin is Israel. Everybody else wasn't under the law, so you can't be included under sin. The law was only given to Israel. <laughs> So that's what I'm telling you. People take the scriptures out of context and try to make it apply to anything and everything and everybody else, and it doesn't apply to anything and everything and everybody else. It only applies to Israel. But the scripture, talking about the word of God, that concludes all under sin, who's all? Israel, Hebrew Israelites of the seed of Abraham. That's who he's talking about. All of us are under sin. That the promise by faith of Jesus Christ might be given to them that believe. If we believe, the promise is given unto us. We have to believe. <clears throat> That's the only way we can be saved, is believe the scriptures. Just because we're Israel, if we don't believe, we can't make it into the kingdom of heaven. But people want to take the scripture out of context and, and, and say the world, the Gentile, <laughs> The Japheth Gentiles, everybody else in the whole wide world. See, it's about everybody else in the whole wide world. We believe Jesus is the Son of God. It's not about you. You can believe that if you want to, but it's not about you. You're not of the seed of Abraham. <laughs> you can be a servant of Israel, but you don't want to acknowledge who Israel is. You don't want to acknowledge us as God's chosen people. Some of y'all have done that. <laughs> Some of y'all of the uh, Japheth Gentiles, y'all know. <laughs> y'all bold enough to say, yeah, y'all God's chosen people. <laughs> but God's chosen people, we so ignorant and foolish, like the Galatians, we fail to recognize who we are, that we're God's chosen people. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Verse 23 again. Verse 23. But before faith came, we were kept under the law, shut up unto the faith which should afterward be revealed. <clears throat> so before Jesus came, we was under the law. We had to obey the law. We were shut up unto the faith which should afterwards be revealed. It was, re was revealed in Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Verse 24, Wherefore the law was our schoolmaster, to bring us unto Christ that we might be justified by faith. We had to learn who God is, <laughs> how he dealt with us. We were some stiff neck. we still some stiff neck, hard-headed people. That's why we are in the conditions that we are in today. It ain't the white man <laughs> that's keeping us down. It's sin. We disobeyed God. God scattered us. <laughs> he said, y'all going to be cursed. 
until the Lord Jesus come back. Yeah, we redeemed from the curse of the law. But all the stuff that happened to us happened to us for a reason. We're downtrodden because we disobeyed God. That's who we are. It ain't because the white man make us down. It's because we disobeyed God. God scattered us. He's coming back to get us. We are his chosen people. We are Hebrew Israelites. We need to understand that and walk in it and believe it. The law was our schoolmaster to bring us unto Christ that we might be justified by faith. Verse 25, but after that faith has come, we are no longer under a schoolmaster. We're no longer under the schoolmaster of the law. Meaning the law can't kill us anymore because we're by faith now. We can believe the Lord, believe the scriptures, believe in Jesus, and we can obey the law through faith. <laughs> the law is not done away with. He didn't say it's done away. We are no longer under the schoolmaster. That means it just doesn't control us anymore. We're not controlled by the schoolmaster. Because we're under faith through Jesus Christ. We still have to obey it. But people want to tell you, oh, the law is done away with. You can't obey the law anymore. We don't have to. Well, okay, that means you could go out and kill anybody you want to. Try to do that and see what happens to you. <laughs> then the law said, thou, thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not steal. <laughs> That's still part of the law. It's not just one part. And you can say, oh, we don't want to obey the law. Yes, you do. Try it. You're going to stand before the Lord and say, well, Lord, I thought the law was done away with. He said, Who told you that? These are your words. These are the words that in my words said the law was done away. <clears throat> You're going to end up in the lake of fire. You better keep the law. <clears throat> you better obey the scriptures. Keep the Sabbath. Do what the word of God says to do. You can do it now by faith. Verse 26. For ye are all the children of God by faith in Christ Jesus. Again, your 501c3 corporations, Antichrist church system, pastors, preachers, and teachers take this scripture out of context and try to apply it to everybody in the whole wide world when it does not apply to everyone in the whole wide world. It only applies to Hebrew Israelites of the seed of Abraham, the northern kingdom of the ten tribes that sinned against the Lord, who are now referred to as Gentile, and the southern kingdom of Judah and Benjamin called Jews who are also scattered. That's who this all is talking about. It's not talking about everybody else in the whole wide world. But again, you 501c3 corporations, pastors, preachers, and teachers of the Antichrist church system take this scripture out of context and say, it's for everybody. It's not. They're lying to you. It's only for Hebrew Israelites. For ye are all who are Hebrew Israelites of the seed of Abraham, the northern kingdom of the ten tribes that are scattered among the Gentiles, the southern kingdom of Judah and Benjamin called Jews. You are the children of God by faith in Christ Jesus. Verse 27 for as many of you as have been baptized into Christ have put on Christ. So when we believe that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God, that he died and was buried and rose on the third day, and we baptize in Christ, we have put on Christ, who are Hebrew Israelites of the seed of Abraham. Verse 28. There is neither Jew. Oh boy, here we go. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither bond nor free. There is neither male nor female. For ye are all one in Christ. Again, your 501c3 corporations, anti-Christ church system, pastors, preachers, and teachers, take this scripture out of context and try to apply it to everybody in the whole wide world. When it doesn't apply to everybody else in the whole wide world, it only applies to Hebrew Israelites of the seed of Abraham. There is neither Jew. Who are the Jews? I've already told you who the Jews are. People want to say the Jews is all of Israel. That is a flat out lie. I don't care how you slice it. The Jews are only the northern, excuse me, the southern kingdom of Judah and Benjamin. They're referred to as Jews. Not all of Israel 
is referred to as Jews. Only the southern kingdom of Judah and Benjamin. Nor Greeks. Who the Greeks? They're talking about the northern kingdom of the ten tribes of Israel that are scattered abroad. They're not talking about all the other people in the whole wide world. People want to take this scripture and say, Greek. That's everybody else in the whole wide world. No, it's not. Greeks is referring to the ten tribes of the northern kingdom of Israel that are scattered abroad. If you say this scripture talking about everybody else in the whole wide world, you're taking the scripture out of context. And you're going to have to give account for that in the day of judgment because you're distorting the scriptures. You're deceiving the people. The people of God is still Israel. It ain't changed. It ain't spiritual Jews and spiritual Israel and spiritual seed of Abraham. That's not true. It's only the real seed who believe. Neither is there Jew nor Greek. It's Israel. That's what it's trying to say. It's all of Israel. Israel is two separate kingdoms. And it's going to be that way until the Lord Jesus comes back. It's the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom. But this scripture says, Neither is there Jew nor Greek. There is neither bond nor free. There is neither male nor female. For ye are all one in Christ Jesus. So Jesus has made us all one, one Israel. But until he comes back, we're still two separate people. But in Christ, we are one. We're still two separate kingdoms, but when Christ comes back, we'll be one Israel. <laughs> Verse 29, and if ye be Christ, then are ye Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. <clears throat> so we are Christ's seed. We're heirs according, we're, we're the seed of Abraham. If ye be Christ, then are ye Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. We, we're heirs according to the promise that God made to Israel, to God made to Abraham. That's the promise. He made a promise and a covenant with Abraham and to his seed forever, which is Jesus Christ. If ye be Christ, then are ye Abraham's seed. It's not a spiritual seed. It's Israel, Hebrew Israelites of the seed of Abraham. Thank you for listening. See you next time. Shalom.